Hello and welcome to CX, to, uh, CX Today. My name is Charlie and today I'm joined by uh, Josh Dolberger, Head of uh, Product, Data and AI at Zoom. How are you doing today, Josh? Doing well, Charlie. Thanks for asking. Yeah, it's really great to have you here and uh, we're here to talk about some really exciting um, announcements and uh, one of many actually in recent times from Zoom, so it's really exciting. Um, uh, and uh, one of those announcements is the launch of uh, some new conversational AI capabilities. So I think my first question to you would just to be, tell us about kind of the new announcement and what that these new um, innovations have to offer customers. Sure. So we are introducing Zoom IQ for sales. Um, it's a product that is in the conversation analytics space. And it's a product that analyzes sales meetings and deals to provide actionable insights so you can identify opportunities, assess risks, and ultimately enable and improve your sales team's performance. We use a variety of machine learning and natural language processing algorithms to process post-meeting transcripts. And then we take a look at the deals so that we can generate some insights for sales reps and their managers. And Zoom IQ's analysis covers customer reactions, conversation selling skills, customer pain points, and we also take a look at competitors that come up on calls and some other areas that may introduce some risks so that we can highlight those risks for both account execs and managers to get involved. I think, yeah, that's really uh, quite fascinating. I mean, it's only a month ago we were talking about kind of the launch of the Zoom contact center. And now we have kind of a lot of these new, com these new capabilities come in. And the reason why that pops into my head is obviously that there's a huge use case for this in the contact center. Um, and how do you think this new technology will help to improve customer, uh, customer uh, sales and outbound uh, contact center performance? So initially, it's a product that's aimed at sales teams. And we think that we can make the selling process more efficient and less painful from both a rep perspective, a manager perspective, sales ops. But you're quite right that there's a massive opportunity in the contact center space to really provide a holistic view of an account from pre-sales into post-sales and to be able to assemble all of the different conversations that happen over Zoom meetings into a timeline where you can extract various insights and figure out exactly what's happened over the trajectory of the life of this deal or account or post account that you're trying to support right now. I think as you kind of said, that holistic view is very much <laughs> a, right. is a differentiator almost of the Zoom, um, of the Zoom uh, platform. Is there anything else and it comes to your mind is, you know, what differentiates this solution compared to maybe others that are available on the market? Yeah, absolutely. So in the in the sales setting, I think that this product just brings a, a level of technology that's developed only over the last few years. So if you look at, you know, what, what Google has brought to the market over just three or four years with the with a variety of pre-trained models, it's um it's that kind of technology that we're using that is really driven in the consumer space things like Siri and Alexa and, and Google Home, and we're applying that to the context of a sales call. And so the, the transcription services are, are much better than anything we've done at Zoom and really anything that's widely available in the market. And so we're getting high fidelity transcriptions that we can then run these sophisticated neural network models on to bring out things like, hey, was the next step mentioned on a call? Um, we don't need the word next and step. We don't need those words to be adjacent to each other. We actually have models that are fairly sophisticated at extracting the semantics from the conversation. Similarly with whether a good question was asked. It doesn't have to have a certain intonation or have a question word in it. We can pick up that it's a question based on the natural language processing that we're able to do. And these sorts of models are really just becoming um, common in the, in the market. And it's something that most of the competition is really not caught up with at this point, because they, they're built on technologies that are five, six, seven years old, which is just a, a you know, a previous generation where some interesting things were possible. Now we have, you know, a far more um, enriched ability to provide these kinds of features in a meaningful way. Yeah, I think that's very interesting. And just in terms of the evolution of conversational AI, I mean, and some of the solutions that we have customers have had uh, face on maybe five years ago compared to now, uh, I mean, the difference is extraordinary. And um, right. the fact that Zoom are progressing that even further is, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very promising. And who knows what the future holds? I think it's all very exciting. And, and my, I think my final uh, kind of question to you on this would be, what does the future hold for Zoom in terms of this field of conversational AI and maybe um, as well in terms of 
and connecting that to other areas of the business, like CCAS is a great example. And what to you, where to you does the future lie of Zoom within the conversational AI field? Yeah, I think I think there. This is just the beginning. Um, it's our first foray. We think the sales use case is a robust one, and and we look forward to build, building out the capabilities so that sales teams can thrive with this product. You're quite right that contact center is the next place that we're going to be focused to to bring to life these kinds of features where we can analyze calls, provide real time in meeting guidance. So you can think of it as an augmented reality for a support rep who may be fielding a question that she's not familiar with or, you know, is a is a new hire that has not gone through all of the trainings yet. We can ramp those folks up very quickly by providing them with some cheat sheets, um, some cliff notes on the fly for how you might address a specific question. So that that's one area that I think we're going to get into pretty quickly here. And then I think, you know, there's there are going to be general use cases for for even folks like you or me who are who are presenting and want to understand our presentation performance. Um, I think that's going to be a, a valuable set of tools. And then I think we'll eventually get into the space of recruiting um, and we'll probably be looking at, you know, a few other verticals as well over the, the next year or so. Yeah, I think it's I think it's incredible, as, as I said earlier as well, in terms of, you know, Zoom just a month ago kind of launched their site CCAS system. Now, kind of the use cases that you uh, just mentioned that are on the horizon, I think it's a very yeah. exciting time for you and everybody at Zoom. And I think um, that's great. And I did say that my last question will be my final question, but now this is my uh, sure. final question for you. Uh, where can the viewers all go to find out more about kind of the latest conversational AI um, solutions from Zoom? Yeah, really just heading over to the Zoom website is the, the best resource, so zoom.us. And um, we'll be we'll be distributing materials as we get warmed up with our go-to-market teams, um, but that's the best place to refer to for now. Excellent. Perfect. I think that's a great place to end uh, today's uh, chat. Thank you very much for joining me, Josh. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate it. Excellent. And thank you for everybody uh, for watching this video. Uh, bye for now.